These are the primordial ones. One, hydrogen. Pi, two, helium. Some self upsurges. Three, lithium. Pi, stone. Four, beryllium. Be beautiful, never live. Five, boron. Grey mess, white matter hard. Six, carbon. After burning, burn again with life. Seven, nitrogen. Nothing holds, explode, I kill, and shrill. Eight, oxygen. Thing one, sharp bites, spread your life up high. Nine, flurry, fucking hell. Flows, kill, and burst upwards, running flowers. Ten, neon, sun still. You are noble and a high, glowingly, a surge. Okay, that's the opening for a sequence of text structured after the periodic table. Now, to see you and read, I need, need to consult an optician. What the table, periodic table does, if you've forgotten your chemistry, is it arranges the elements in the order of their atomic weights. And this can be tabulated on the basis of repeated properties that crop up every so and so. Number eight, say, or 18. The number in the list of atomic weights isn't trivial. It's the atomic number, which is the number of protons in the nucleus, which is balanced by the number of electrons arranged in energy shells. We use a word like orbitals. And these are what give the elements their chemical properties and some of their physical properties. And in this text, the number of words per orbital is the same as the number of words per line. The orbitals match the lines, obviously. And the repeated verbal devices based on the groups and on other groupings involved in the table, which is, since it's an actual thing, complex. So it's a poem using natural structure to create verbal matter. It isn't a poem about chemistry. It uses chemistry. And as well as talking of the chemical properties, sometimes etymology is important, all sorts of connections, historical uses, whatever came through to me in writing it, from, as it were, the elementals of the elements. So what I'm going to do now is have two kind of transects through it, a horizontal one, reading a period, that was periods one and two, and I'm going to read period four, and then a vertical transect, what's called a group. So I'll read that to end. Okay. Let's consult Okay, period four. 19. Potassium. Here's wonder. Cardi herself burns violet stones, harsh ash. Follow the rules to live and die is us. 20. Calcium. Boom, bounty. But let it rock, let it powder, look. Quick or slow, cavernous or poppy, dull lines. Mass beneath. 21. Scandium. Meet me. Rising northwards, the country climbs into limitable peaks, knowing the orange from here, slithering bright hard. Gentian, woo. 22. Titanium. Massive here. The sun shreds to a little busy bird. Light, strong, repetitive glints, spreading its deadly white all around. Fallen friends. 23. Vanadium. 
much vanity, the goddess of this country subtly shimmers visible. Her wagon crunches beneath ever onwards in thin, suborial summer glow. The nescent light. Twenty-four. Chromia. Many colours. Rejoice our bodies that forces some shining glow. Harsh firmness cold of the plains reefs up like broken cards. Twenty-five. Manganese. Merry lamps. Hard like poles that creep at thistle darkness each winter. Wet stains we base our whole lives upon this far beyond our deaths. Glittery magnetic. 26. I am masterful friend, ferocious and fertile, ever welcoming your siblings in. Hewn out, hammered briefly, shining long dead, hit I losing no strength except in blood. Hemorrhaging anger. 27. Cobalt. Mysterious parasite, crawling together in coves in luminous blue arrays. Your little goblin of poisonous necessity, needless crimes, unforgettable in the smolt and zapper zone. Bloody progress. 28. Nickel. Molded nastiness, the devil's gate burn and scratches your name. Last and will be renewed, it niggles at its light through mines, meteors, deep pits within. Tiny. Glomerulus. <laughs> 29. Copper. Melty red. That's simple, it is just beautiful and ductile. Curious goddess that lips us all, hanging out alone and weeping turquoise, tears glowing and growing downwards your island. Thirty. Zinc. Magnificent together. Torn up, zigzags folded flat, thwart electrical fields. Syzygy thicking dully, but enough we do actually need you today. Your zeal, your spikiness, your thin harmlessness. Testing two. Thirty-one. <laughs> Gallium. Greedy Galena. <laughs> Melting momentarily, much pleasure massing dark stains meanwhile. Chickens and poultry, poultry, paws out measured pain, checked and paralleled its slits, chirrups, perches upon a person. Stop it, the feathers. Germania. Absolute miracle. Holds out some hope of growth, all close. Brazoa, bits, clocks, congreves, devils, ducks, flutes, gambas, miles, sausages, sheets, six steels, stitches, texts, tinders, watches, wall. Swept through intense heat. Thirty-three. Arsenic. Not friend. Fucks you up like this, but she said, the bottom falls out of everything into a grey mass smelling of garlic, conchoidal or pottery floor, not our pigmental. Glowed only by reflections, kill. 34. Selenium. Things happen. Little buttons fall from the moon, look, see. All serene, like some lush poet pulled pain sketch, biting vitriol works, waste done, but assured finally of salvation. Life be beautiful, so don't vanish. 35. Groaning. Finally fluid. Falls to drink you, bookish grass, old stinker. Friend to know, and whether much you stream us, failing of memory, aphasia, faltering of spirits, and a prodisiac effect. Folly to that I helped you fall. 36. Krypton. Something seeped. So abstruse that one in a million parts. High odds for good concealment up there, not just burial vaults and secreting pits, but spread across welkins. Sprinkles us around with a please, now rough aspergin.
this uh, need to purchase single-handed things that they last a room. But it's all they repeating two of those elements in this different context. So we'll start with five. Four of them. Greenness, lights, matter R. Thirteen, aluminium. Good gracious. This little light thing line and lovely look stops the love. Thirty-one, gallium. Really, Alina, not in momentarily much pleasure massing dark stains, meanwhile. Chickens and poultry, poultry, and paws out of measured pain, checked and paralleled its slits, jerks, punches upon a person, stopping the feathers. 49, India, glittering and gall, little left in this world despite long dims. Its noise is incommunicable, but blunt like tin, or its crystals cry, its grains make us grow. Never nourished now in any form from famous river regions roaming east in spectral fantasy, it glows in glorious stocks the gills. 81, Fabia. Regis, Gudgeon. Gradually will kill us all with that great gust. It's a grey old grudge, a grovelling and grinding, then going against counter scarves, maybe grimly graffitiing across graves. Tell us, do you unlikely leafy light line as you shine, green gibbering in truth like some pulverulent fallow? You are no blooming fallow, just a mortal fallacy, no great fucking fallow brat. It's some other life you do grow membranous, occasionally braided and shrubbish between grubbles and grubbed up tree stumps. Stopping all organs. 113. Nehonia. Ah. Bum, rum, hum, lum. Ah. Mm. Gives us 
the radioactive elements. There's also another thing about an element like, like Neponia. It's totally synthetic. It's not, to use that word that I opened with, primordial, primordial not the primordial elements. It doesn't come from the working out of the processes of physical laws operating as laws on matter. It is created by humanity, by us. Physical laws operating through us, they don't go through physics. That's certain. So my sense of the primordial elements, as you probably gathered, is their alienness, often hostility. They are mostly, actually mostly poisonous metals, to be honest. But these, these elements, they're obviously intensely radioactive and thoroughly nasty, because we have produced them, I can see as bonded to us. So the elementals can communicate. There's a link. And what they've done is there are messages contained within the decay. Within, so I've chipped away for the home here. I'll give you its message ending. So this is this is from 113 Neonia. is Falling apart. 